In this short video I will review all of the, the ladybug tools that we saw earlier before we step to the uh, honeybee tools. As we saw the ladybug tools are like very useful weather or, and environmental analysis tools that gives us a lot of uh, charts, diagrams and like information regarding our area. So in the first couple of videos we saw how to draw a chart which is like an hourly chart for each hour in the year how much is the temperature and we saw how to draw the sun path uh, on that area and of course the wind rows as we saw and we also we had like this diagram about the radiation that's coming from the sky dome uh, from the sky and the sun uh, on our land so all of these were basic uh, abstract analysis and uh, diagrams that showing the information about the area itself and uh, after that we saw how to incorporate these analysis and these data on our geometry and how to like link uh, geometry like the mass of our building and the mass of the context uh, the surrounding buildings we calculated first the sun hours which means like the sun shade which of the areas are like more shaded and which of them are having more sun and as we see here the result were in hours so the open areas with the yellow color were having the most sun like about 12 hours a day which is like the, the total hours of the day and the blue ones were not having any sun hours and the other analysis that we saw was the incident radiation so we saw on like each surface how much of the radiation in kilowatt hour uh, is receiving so this was helpful for us to see how much uh, solar gain our facades and our uh, surface like the building envelope is receiving if we want to gain like more sun uh, gain or like if we want to install some solar panels uh, and so and in the last one in the comfort analysis we saw what uh, comfort uh, temperature mean how the human perception of the temperature uh, is calculated uh, what is the UTCI calculation and all of these different situations if you are under a uh, sun or like if you are exposed to wind uh, speed and how do you feel uh, under uh, each of these situations in the next chapter we will see the honeybee and how to build a honeybee energy model